Akufo Ado delivered the message to the country's strongman Kano Asimi Goita during talks in Bamako. Goita is behind both Mali's recent coups, having installed a civilian led interim government under international pressure after the first one only to remove it in May, later declaring himself interim president. But a senior member of ECOWAS delegation told the media that their message was unambiguous and was said clearly that the elections have to be held on the scheduled dates. An ECOWAS delegation will return to Bamako at the end of October when they hope to receive the assurances they are seeking. Ali Goita, who overthrew the elected president last year, met the Ghanaian leader at Bamako airport, Mali's presidency announced on social media. Ghana currently holds a COAC's rotating chair, but Akufo Addo was accompanied by Nigeria's ex president Good Luck Jonathan, who is mediating in the Malian crisis, and Jean Claude Kasi Bro, the ECOWAS commission president. Goita pledged to hold elections in February next year, but his government has been slow to prepare for the poll, and Junta has suggested the deadline may not be met. The regional group of 15 countries said a list of individuals and organizations would be drawn up who would face targeted sanctions if they delay the return to civilian rule.